Hi right, everyone, Cody here. So I'm revisiting my water splitter project. As you can see, I've done quite a bit. There's wires and tubes going everywhere. So yeah, again, you can see my scrubbers. So you got a bubbler here that's a flashback arrester. Another one to uh, just have the water drop out if there is any. And then I've got a thing, bottle full of calcium chloride there. Some anhydrous calcium chloride. And I got the same thing over here on the oxygen side. You can see I've added some clips to the top of the uh, electrolyzers. So I got all the wires tied down pretty tight there. Uh, eventually I'll solder them solid. But yeah, I've got the uh, main wires going out. They're hooked up to the solar panel controller. At uh, 13 and a half volts, I've got it set to uh, dump the power through this cable here. I can dump up to 160 amps. I can use that for anything I want, be it some lamps, heavy duty resistor, or my uh, water splitter. <laughs> I've fixed all of the gas leaks so there's no gas bubbles coming up through there now. It's all 100% going out through there. As you can see in there I've got a coil of tubing. There's actually two coils of tubings. And uh, that's uh, to take heat away, because I've got it hooked up to this pump here, so it's pumping water through. I don't know if you can see this. See the water going in? Yeah, it's just got a steady stream of water going up through this, so it'll pick up some heat, then come out, and i got a bunch of tubing here, and then back into that bottle. Um, this uh, setup here does work to cool it, but I figure it wasn't enough. Like if I have this thing running for like eight hours straight, it will overheat. I mean, it'll never get above the boiling point of water, but uh, this plastic might get soft and I don't want that to happen. So I've got that pump in there. Although for running this maybe an hour or two at a time, it's really unnecessary. So let's uh, show you what I'm doing with the gas. You see here, I've got a compressor inside of this bag. Let's uh, go ahead and start this for you. Yeah. <laughs> and then it has the gas come out here. And I've got these tanks here. So I got a little Schwitter valve soldered into the side. I've also got this. Same for there. This is where the hydrogen is going to be. And this uh, will take at least 300 psi pretty easily. So that's going to be a good way to store about. Uh, 30 to 60 gallons worth of gas. <laughs> Currently these are vacuumed out. I've sucked all the air out of them so there's uh, gonna be no problems associated with that. Uh, such as what happened over here. This is the hydrogen side and as you can see had a little bit of an explosion here. So I've got to make darn sure that I get all of the air out of this before I turn the compressor on. Alright, I think it's been about four hours this is actually the second time I've let them fill up. The first time I let them fill up actually a little bit more than this. And then uh, when I hooked the compressors up, the air just kind of ran into them to fill the void. And so these are now currently at just atmospheric pressure. So now this amount here ought to pressurize it above that and I'll be able to finally use it. If there ever gets a leak in this bag and it sucks in a little oxygen, it's going to go boom. <laughs> And I was hoping to have these uh, set up, like maybe have a tilt switch, like a board laying on it, so it would automatically compress it when they fill. But uh, I think I'm going to have to figure something else out. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, compress this. Start with the oxygen. I just hooked it up to the thing. There we go. I don't want to do it too much because it might create a vacuum and suck the acid through. But here we go. I got some oxygen. To get the compressor to run without exploding the gas, I had to flush it with the propane to get rid of all the air. So uh, when I burn this, it might be a bit colored because uh, pure hydrogen is colorless. But I guess that's fine anyway. It'll be better for the camera. Hydrogen makes a very dim flame. So stick a piece of grass in it so you can see it. There you go. Alright, torches are hooked up. Found me some metal. Moment of truth, I guess. Let's go ahead and turn on the hydrogen first. Turn that a little bit. Hey, it didn't explode. That's good. 
All right, can I turn that up? Yes, excellent, turn it up and down. Let's turn on the oxygen now. Hey, we got a flame. That's pretty good, look at that. Let's heat this wire up, see if it'll melt through it. Hopefully I don't burn something down. Turn up the hydrogen, turn up the oxygen, there we go. Now oh, I melt it. I see sparks. Hey, it melted through it. Woo. You know what? I think I'm happy with that. Let's get that off the wood. Hide the burn marks. <laughs> but yeah, it burned through it. I mean, that's not very much of a feat for an oxacetylene torch, but this is a water torch. From water that I split today. <laughs> Using electricity. I mean, I didn't do it with the solar panels, but I could have. Be very easily. I spent all day working on this trying to get that for you, so I hope you guys appreciate it. Um, let me turn this oxygen on again real quick. See, one thing I like about this, this is breathable oxygen. It, it smells just like air, really. But if I had like a uh, lithium hydroxide canister or something sitting next to me, absorbing my CO2, I would be able to live off of this canister of oxygen that I just, from that amount of oxygen, for maybe an hour. Because uh, humans, like, I would use about a kilogram of oxygen in a day. This thing produces about 250 milliliters of oxygen per minute and I use up about 700 milliliters per minute, which means if I just had this about three, maybe three times more powerful, I would actually be able to live off of it. At least when the sun's shining, I would be able to produce enough oxygen for me to breathe. I mean, how awesome is that, that I'm able to do that, to just this little homemade thing? And this is just my prototype. I definitely want to do something better in the near future. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. I know I had a lot of fun, and I'll see you next time.